with this animation let's learn how hydraulic brake works and the procedure for brake bleeding. First let's identify the components that's the brake pedal then we have the master cylinder which is in green that's the wheel cylinder which is in blue and there comes our brake shoes we have two brake shoes on the top and bottom of the wheel cylinder then the bleed valve that's a hose for brake bleeding over there and that's a jar for brake oil bleeding so first what we'll be doing is we'll see the basics of the working of the hydraulic brake and then we'll see how the brake bleeding procedure is been done so first let's apply the brake so i'm applying the brake so stepping on the brake pedal uh, the brake pedal moves and pressurizes the fluid in the master cylinder so that's a master cylinder in green the oil gets pressurized inside and it moves so the pressured oil enters the wheel cylinder over here so that's a wheel cylinder in blue so the pressured oil enters into the wheel cylinder this pressure energizes the brake pistons which are in yellow so you can see the brake pistons over there and it's getting energized because of the pressure and the brake piston moves and pressurizes the brake shoes so the brake pistons are moving against the brake shoes and resulting in the brake shoes to move that makes the brake shoes move see the brake shoes are moving over there right and the brake is getting applied so the movement of the brake shoes result in the brake to get applied how bleeding of hydraulic brake is done let's see it first let's see the apparatus required the brake bleeding is done through a bleeding valve so where is the bleeding valve so that is the bleeding valve which you are looking at right now over there and there is a bleeding nipple onto it we have just uh, made it bigger so that you can identify it and a pipe is connected to the nipple and dipped in a jar with the brake fluid like this so this is the apparatus required for the brake bleeding now a uh, brake bleeding procedure now, initially top up the master cylinder which is in green with brake fluid so sufficient amount of brake fluid should be available inside uh, the brake master cylinder brake is applied by keeping the bleed valve closed so this is the bleed valve it is in closed condition normally it will be in closed condition so keep it in the closed condition and two people are required for the brake bleeding process one inside uh, the cabin the driver's cabin to apply the brake pedal the other person down the vehicle to open up and close uh, this bleed valve so now let's uh, see the so the person inside the cabin is pressing the brake pedal so you can see the brake pedal getting pressed and the pressure inside the master cylinder increases and the pressured oil moves into the wheel cylinder you can see so the pressure increases in the wheel cylinder there so right now what we do is that now open up the bleed valve so the person down the vehicle open up the bleed valve so the bleed valve is getting opened there you can see it's getting opened and the air escapes out with little amount of brake oil so the air is escaping out from there right you can see that it's happening and the brake oil flows towards the jaw like this now close the bleed valve and release the brake pedal so first you have to close the brake valve that's the first thing to be done so i'm closing the brake valve as the brake valve is closed the person intimates the person inside the cabin to release the brake pedal then he releases the brake pedal right the brake pedal has been released so in this process it is very clear that brake is applied by keeping the bleed valve closed at the same time brake is released by keeping the bleed valve closed as in the animation so the importance is that the brake pedal should only be released by keeping the bleed valve closed or else it will suck the air from the atmosphere to the wheel cylinder so the procedure is very simple first press the brake pedal slowly open up the blade valve so that the air can escape then close the blade valve and then release the brake pedal again so that's simply the procedure so this process of bleeding is continued till no more air bubbles are seen and uh, one thing you have to understand why the brake bleeding has to be done if you see your hydraulic brake is not efficient enough you need to see that air is entered into the system or not so the air need to be bleed out so the hydraulic brake system consists of hydraulic oil and this hydraulic brake oil is incompressible according to pascal's law when a pressure is applied on a confined liquid 
the pressure is distributed in every area right angle with equal amount so as the brake unit is a closed unit with hydraulic oil this Pascal's law is getting applied but gradually air enters into the system and the air is compressible so as the air is compressible when we press the brake pedal the air gets compressed which is inside the system and efficiency of the brake loses out so to avoid this brake bleeding has to be done occasionally by opening up the blade valve and doing the procedure that we have uh, given you through the animation so I believe this was useful to you Please click the subscribe button for more tutorial video updates. Please see the description below the video for more links. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day.